Well, the leaders of the study say not only is this practice unconstitutional, but it lacks empathy. But the administrative judge of the circuit court says that it's a human system and mistakes can be made. And while he thinks it's wrong, he says it's not a common problem. You can't send someone to jail under the Constitution if they have an inability to pay the fine. But according to a newly released study done by the American Civil Liberties Union, it's happening in New Hampshire. Attorney Buzz Shear is one of the leaders of the study. It's a very comprehensive study of what occurred in 2013 in New Hampshire in 9 out of 10 counties. The report says in total 289 people were jailed for unpaid fines, but not all willfully refused to pay. And the study showed that an estimated 148 didn't have a meaningful hearing or a lawyer. The hearing will occur and the judge will say some version of uh, you either pay the fine now uh, or you go to jail. Can you pay the fine? I can't pay the fine. Off to jail. Sometimes those hearings took less than two minutes. Yeah, and I, I don't disagree with them at all. I, I mean, I would go so far myself as to say that if one person goes to jail without the proper constitutional protections, we need to do something about that. But Judge Edwin Kelly, who oversees New Hampshire's circuit court, says they have 83,000 fine-based cases a year. He says this isn't a systemic problem, as the study states. And not to minimize the impact on the individual, but the system is set up to make sure that when there is a mistake, and you know this amounts to a 0.3 percent of the cases, when there is a mistake, that it can be corrected. A handful of these cases were challenged and jail was averted or the person released, but study leaders say it is very difficult to change this on a case-by-case -case basis. We think a systemic change in the rules, relatively simple, lawyer, ability to pay hearing, um, we will uh, we'll fix the problem. Now, Judge Kelly reached out to the study leaders and will be meeting with them on Friday. He says they are not on opposite sides of the table. He wants to make sure that all constitutional protections are provided to every person who comes before the court. And if policies or rules need to change, he would work with them to make that happen. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.